The Federal and Valevin Hypermarket jointly present the Tutukudi Marathon 2024 to raise awareness on drug abuse. The event is co-presented by Edison Cardio Care Centre Tiruchendur, powered by L. Anand Jewelry and St. Mother Teresa Engineering College, Tutukudi. Efforts are on to form an interim government in Bangladesh. Bangladesh Army Chief General Wakir Uz Zaman, reportedly related to ex-Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, is on the job. Or so he says. How important is the army in Bangladesh? Historically, the army controlled politics directly or indirectly for 15 years after independence. After independence, fighters of the Mukti Bahini, which led the insurgency, became part of the Bangladesh army. But tensions began to emerge within the army due to discrimination against those Bangla soldiers who had not rebelled against Pakistan in the lead up to the liberation war. Then came the first military coup. The discontent came to a boil on August 15, 1975, when a handful of young soldiers assassinated Mujibur Rahman and his entire family. His daughters, Sheikh Hasina and Sheikh Rehana, escaped death as they were out of the country. Mujibu's assassination led to the first military coup in Bangladesh, led by Major Syed Farooq Rahman, Major Kandakher Abdul Rashid and politician Kandakher Mostak Ahmed. A new regime was established. Mostak Ahmed became the president and Major General Ziaur Rahman was appointed as the new army chief. On November 3, 1975, months after the first coup, Brigadier Khalid Mosharraf, who was seen as a supporter of Mujib, led another coup and appointed himself as the new army chief. Mosharraf put Ziaur Rahman under house arrest as he believed that the latter was behind Mujibur Rahman's killing. Then came the third coup, days later on November 7th, launched by left-wing army personnel in collaboration with left-wing politicians from the Jatiya Samaj Tantrik Dal. Mosharraf was killed and Ziaur Rahman became the president. Zia Ur Rahman formed the Bangladesh National Party in 1978, which won the general election that year. But in 1981, he was overthrown by a mutinous army unit headed by Major General Manzoor. Then in 1982, then Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Hussein Mohammed Ershad took power in a bloodless coup, suspending the constitution and imposing martial law. He overthrew President Abdus Sattar of BNP who had succeeded Ziaur Rahman. Parliamentary democracy returned to Bangladesh in 1991, but the army influence did not stop. In 2006, political turmoil erupted after the BNP Jamaat government's term ended. BNP and Awami League locked horns over choosing a candidate to head the caretaker government before fresh elections could take place. In October that year, President Ahmed declared himself the leader of the caretaker government and announced that elections would be held in January of the following year. However, on January 11, 2007, Army Chief Lieutenant General Moeen Ahmed led a military coup forming a military-backed caretaker government. Fakhruddin Ahmed, an economist, was appointed the head of the government. Moeen extended his tenure as Army Chief by one year and the rule of the caretaker government for two more years. Military rule came to an end in 2008 after national elections were held and Sheikh Hasina rose to power. Fast forward to 2024, as the country is in chaos, it is the army chief who has stepped up to take responsibility. The million dollar question in Bangladesh is, how will things be different this time? Although the country has a history of military coups, this shift in power has been fueled by civilian protest leading to the prime minister's resignation. The Bangladesh president has dissolved the parliament, bowing down to ultimatum from student protesters. In the wake of this, Army Chief Wakeru Zaman convened an all-party meeting to have a consensus on who would head the interim government. Reports claim that student groups want Muhammad Yunus, an economist and a civil society leader who was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006 to take charge of the nation instead of Wakeru Zaman. Nevertheless, this is said to be a military-led interim government in Bangladesh. Whether the army will enable return to a fully elected civilian democratic rule and how soon it will do so will be watched closely by neighbours, especially India. This will also show if the army has matured or not over the last five decades since the emergence of Bangladesh.
The Federal and Vailavin Hypermarket jointly present the Tutukudi Marathon 2024 to raise awareness on drug abuse. The event is co-presented by Edison Cardio Care Centre Tiruchendur, powered by L. Anand Jewellery and St. Mother Teresa Engineering College, Tutukudi.